Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to View and then change the layout to Details. Then I'll right click on one of the column headings and remove all of the columns that I don't want. So the type and the size and the tags. Then I will add in all of the different dates. So the date created and the date modified and the date taken. The method that I am going to show you will rename all of the files to the date modified. So it's only really useful when the date modified and the date taken are the same, which is only sometimes the case. So hold down shift and right click and select open PowerShell window here. And I will be using the Windows PowerShell to rename the files. Type get dash child item and enter and this will get you a list of all of the files in this folder with the file names here and then some extra information including the last write time which is just a different name for the date modified and i'm going to be extracting this information and using it to rename the files when you press the up arrow key on the keyboard inside Windows PowerShell, it will show you what you previously typed in. And I am going to be adding a pipe symbol onto this because I want to take the results of the get child item and then pipe them into something else. And that something else will be rename dash item space dash new name. So I'm going to be renaming these items with a new name. And that new name will be open curly brackets, dollar sign, underscore dot, last right time. And the last right time is this column here with dates and times in it. And then I will add dot to string which will convert these dates and times into a text string. Then I need to tell it what format I want the date and time in. So I'm going to open brackets. Then I'll resize this window here to put this on a new line. And the date and time format need to be inside quotation marks. And it will be four Ys for the year, then a dash and capital M, capital M for the month dash dd for the day, then a space, and hh for the hour, and dot mm for minutes, and dot ss for seconds, and then space, and ddd for the day of the week, and then close brackets. Then I need to use a plus symbol, and open brackets, and add in a dollar sign, underscore, dot extension, close brackets, and that will add the file extension onto the end of the file name, and then close curly brackets and enter. And this will take a second, but it will rename all of the files. So if we look here, for example, this file has a date modified of the 12th of January 2018 at 8.20 and the new file name is 2018.01.12.08.20.37. The 37 is the seconds and even though you can't see that here, that's still stored in the date modified. And then the day of the week is Friday. And if we look at this file here, for example, the date modified is the 21st of March 2018 at 3.19 p.m. And then the new file name is 2018.03.21.03.19. So this time here is on a 12-hour clock and this time here is on a 24-hour clock. You can change the way that the date is formatted. So for example, I can remove the day of the week as I don't really care about that and also remove the seconds as I think that's probably too much information. Keep in mind if you use just the date here and then you have more than one photo that was taken on the same day, it's going to try and rename all of the files to the same date and so that will throw up an error message because you can't have more than one file with the same name. 
I'm also going to change the two H's here to capital H's and that will get me the time as a 24 hour clock. Then I will reverse the date here. So I'll start with DD for the day and then dash and I'll have three capital M's here and that will get me the month but as the first three letters of the name of that month and then dash YY will get me the year but just the last two numbers of that year and now if I press enter it will rename the files again so I now have the 12th of January here but the month is the first three letters of the name of that month and then I have 18 for the year 2018 and then here on the 21st of March the time is now 15.19 so it's on a 24 hour clock. You can also add a prefix or a suffix to this name so for example if I want to add something to the beginning of this name I need to put it in front of the last right time and it has to be in quotation marks and I will type Christmas here and then I need to have a plus symbol to join this to the date. And I will also add a space in here so that there is a space separating out the word and the date. Then I'll reformat the date again so that the time is on a 24 hour clock and I'll delete the seconds and the day of the week and enter. And now you'll see that the file names have changed, so I have the word Christmas at the beginning. Then if you want to add something onto the end of these file names, I'm just going to delete the word Christmas from the beginning of this. And to add something onto the end, it has to come after the date but before the file extension. So I need another plus symbol in here and then it needs to be in quotation marks and I will type dash holiday and enter. And now I have all of the file names renamed again with the word holiday on the end. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to rename photos to the date modified using Windows PowerShell and that is everything.